All right, so solving this problem, uh, what's gonna happen here is for part A, we're going to have f of g of four. So f of g of four, what this ends up being is for every x component of f, we're gonna plug in the entire equation of g. So three times, so for the x part, two x squared minus one plus two. And then what we're gonna do is plug in four. So three times two, wherever there's an x times four squared minus one plus two. So this becomes three times, this is 16, four squared. So that becomes, and then times two is 32 minus one plus two. This is 63 plus, let's see here. Oh, I made a mistake. 30, 30 well, 32 minus one is 31, but times three is 93. So it's 93 plus two, 95. That's for part A. All right, part B, it's just reversing rule. So G of F of two. So this becomes for every X component in G, we plug in the value of F. So this becomes two quantity three X plus two squared plus two. So two, and then three, and then we're plugging in two times two plus two squared plus two. So this becomes two times six plus two. So that's eight squared plus two. Uh, 64 times two is 128. Um, oh, a mistake. It should be minus one. So we get 127 out. All right, um, C. So F of F of one. So we get three X. It's a recursive function, three X plus two plus two, nine X plus six plus two. And actually for each value of X, we're gonna plug in one. So we get nine plus seven, which is equal to actually this is eight, um, 17. And our final part, G of G of zero, two, 2x squared minus 1 squared minus 1. So 2 times 2 times 0 squared minus 1 squared minus 1. We get out 2 times 1. Minus 1, which is going to be equal to 1. That's it.